it's time to rebuild this tiny Willwood remote master cylinder. I started by removing the reservoir and the dust boot. The guts of this master cylinder are held in place by this locking ring. Careful when you remove it because it will shoot out because it's spring loaded. There's a washer, a clip, a rod, a spring, and a main plunger. My handy sauna cleaner with some solvent does good work as always. After the cleaning, check the bore for any damage like scratches or pitting. It needs to be nice and smooth in order to function properly. Now the rebuild kit. They're about 20 bucks off Willwood's website. A quick double check to make sure it's the right bore size. Some fresh brake fluid is used to lubricate the bore and the main piston. Some AeroShell 33 grease is used on the pin and the bucket. The two springs go inside of the piston. Then the piston gets pushed inside of the master bore. Be careful to avoid damaging any seals while doing this. The rod assembly goes on next, and this part is a little bit hard. You have to press the rod inwards and compress the spring while also aligning the retaining clip. It's a little difficult to do this while also filming. The dust boot goes on and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick filler video. Make sure to like and subscribe and maybe follow me on Instagram.